Introducing the all-new Wall-E from By and Large. Waste. Leave the world and your cares behind as the newest fleet of Wall-E units work in the harshest landscapes to clear even the toughest debris. Allocation. Wally's improved stacking capability allows it to construct space-effective towers, allowing for much-needed solar and elemental penetration to the topsoil. Load. With a storage capacity of 2,744 cubic inches and top speed of 30 miles per hour, Wall-E can output one cube of waste every 10 seconds. Lifter. Independent and adaptable suspension allows Wall-E to adjust to any terrain and carry the heaviest of loads with ease. Class, designed for your world. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the stars. When you return, Earth will be waiting even better than when you left it. Wall E. Working to dig you out. Wall E is a product of the Bio Large Corporation, all rights reserved. Wall E is not designed to function underwater in lunar gravity or in active lava flows. For a demonstration of Wall E's many other functions, please visit any Bio Large showroom or voice command your hollow screen to www.bioenlarge.com. I love the idea that the movie set in Paris and uh, and in the French countryside. It's just such a rich area of design and history. The limestone buildings are just everywhere with the tin roofs and the and the granite streets and it creates this uniform appearance so that when something punctuates that you really notice. You know, you'd see these bright red banners or these awnings across cafes and they just really grabbed your eye and they were just really appealing. There's a little bit of an upstairs downstairs thing going on where up above Paris beautiful and then down below and that's kind of the rat world. A little cold and a little wet and a little foggy and a little dank. Always in the shadows, always in attics or in places where humans can't go. Another key visual element was Gusteau's. The facade and the dining room are really designed to make it look like the greatest French restaurant on earth. The kitchen is very much neutral tones, very subtly colored. The walls are tile, the floor is tile, the stoves are black. It's designed to make the food look great, but also the copper pots look great in this environment and the chef's skin tones look great. Ratatouille takes place in modern day Paris, France. You know, food is king and it's a beautiful city and the beauty of the city kind of contradicts what it's like to be a rat. You've got this grungy, nauseating, disgusting place where the rats live and then you have this pristine kitchen environment. These worlds come together via Remy's desire to cook in this five-star French kitchen. It's a bold move, I think, to have rats as your main characters. A lot of people, I think, uh, find them repulsive. I don't want to talk about the tale. What about my adorable peach fur covered little ears? You know, no one ever asked rats about that. For us, it's a matter of doing a lot of reference, really. It's, it's looking at a lot of real rat footage. People have brought in their pet rats, which at first we were a little afraid of, because again, rats are a little like, rats. But now we've actually got our own rats in the animation department, and uh, they're endlessly entertaining. And we've been videoing those rats and looking at that footage. Not necessarily copying it, but taking the spirit of, of what makes a rat a rat, how quickly they move, and, and all of the little fidgety traits. Our main character, Remy, he has this amazing sense of smell. And he picks out the food that all the rats in the tribe can eat. But Remy is very interested in fine food. He wants to be a five-star French chef. The rats are traditionally kind of takers. They're hiding, they're sneaking, they're stealing little things, and the chefs are givers. They're creating things and presenting them to people, and Remy is a real giver. One of the
things I think that's really interesting about the film is that it has this European flavor to it. The art department on this film spent a lot of time studying French faces and French culture. To find out what makes French people move and act and talk, etc., like French people. And actually the shoulders are much more involved and it's, it's, it's a little more um, all-body inclusive language. We're working on doing our homework to, to be a little more authentic with, with some of the gestures, especially with the, the chefs. Watching films, going to Paris. We've gone in groups to take cooking classes. We've gone to observe real kitchens to get the, the vibe and the spirit behind a working kitchen. We've studied the way people move, not only on the small details, the way they fry things, or the way they'll saute, or the way they'll use their rags to clean things up, but also as a whole, how the whole kitchen will move as a body. It's like a living organism. It really is this choreography, this dance, that everybody has their spot, and they're all doing their thing, but they're all doing it together. The biggest challenge with these rats is to make them feel like they're not little tiny humans. So in order to do that, we looked to the real rat's anatomy. There's a lot of mass between where their skeleton is and where their skin is. So what you get is kind of this blob of this animal that can change shape almost. They can squish themselves up and stretch themselves out. And so we call that sort of the squishiness. And we've been working really hard to keep these characters squishy. And I think that's what's going to make this movie what it is. It's that combination of really strong heart with a little layer of silliness on top of it. Because it is a rat who wants to cook. And we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Yep, you're clean, pal. Move it along. Ugh. Hey, little brother. Are you finished yet? Just about, Dad. Can't a rat work in peace around here? Now listen, the old lady's nap time is almost over. Get cracking and collect those apple cores before she wakes up. There's more stuff to be collected, boys, so get moving. And for crying out loud, Emil, stop eating all our supplies. Uh, what supplies? Remy, keep an eye on your brother. Make sure he leaves some for the rest of us. Why are you walking like that? Because I eat with these paws. Well... Go ahead, but Dad won't like it. Last thing he wants is for you to act human. Yeah, I know. Remy, come on. Dad wants to get some apple cores. Maybe I'll even show you some sweet moves along the way. Look! Food! Follow me to pick them up. Hey, I thought we were working together on this. We are. I'll get the food on the flower pots while you snag these. Thanks for the tip. Great. Watch me use 
my amazing muscles to get up on the flower pots. This ought to be good. Okay, why don't you try it? Wow! But, but how? I know. Pretty amazing, huh? Sometimes I'm not quite sure myself. But hey, just pick up the food and meet me over at the fishing net. great ideas that get me in trouble? Anyways, I'll, I'll wait for you near the window. Thanks for the tip. Great! chest. Now we're going to use this rope to get to the roof over there. 
What? Are you crazy? We're rats, not birds. Eh, uh, never mind. Just watch how it's done. Thanks for the tip. Notice how I use my considerable girth to balance. I call this one the Great Balancing Rat Run. This, I gotta see. Just watch and learn. Meet me down there on the wall and don't forget the apple cores. Little brother, you got some skills. Now we're gonna land on those sparkly posts. Watch this. You should be careful. You might break something. Can you please just watch? Then meet me over there by the pile of wood. like this to hide. Just, just pick it up and climb underneath. Then you can move around unnoticed. So, if I'm in the box, no one can see me? Exactly. Thank you. How to defend yourself. We'll use that as a weapon. Emil, you're really starting to freak me out. Where did you learn how to do all this? Seriously, I really don't know. Who are you? I think you know somebody. Thanks for the tip. Last thing, we're almost done here. This one is about rafting, and believe me, little brother, I'm an expert in that. So just watch and learn, and don't forget to pick up the food. I know, you told me that like a hundred times. Yeah, yeah, just follow me. Uh, why'd you want to come up here again? Well, I need your help. With what? This. It's a cookbook by Auguste Gusteau, my favorite chef with all sorts of mouth-watering delicacies. Wow. Wow, Remy. I didn't know you could read. Just come on. I'll, we'll get it now and I'll tell you more later. <laughs> Daddy?
I am Chef Auguste Gusto. I, I I know who you are. Silence! And look there. So, mon ami, do you recognize this place? I'm not certain, but... Go on. Paris. Yes? Did you lead me here? Why? Aren't you just a figment of my imagination? Oui, I am a figment of your imagination. But inspiration comes to us all. Especially chefs. The critics have dropped my restaurant from five stars to four. I believe you, mon petit ami, can help me get that star back. Rebuild Gusto's? I think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> 